Hey, what is up, guys? This is the FNH here, and welcome back to another programming algorithm question tutorial. All right. So, in this video, I'm going to be talking about an algorithm which is, um, you know, fairly simple, right? Um, it does involve the knowing of one specific collection library or um, one specific collection. Um, and it is basically find the duplicate characters and their count, right? So, we have a, a string a word, right? And we want to basically find out which letter is duplicated and <clears throat> the count for them, for that uh, for that letter, okay? So when you have a, just a general, um, I guess, tip on when you have something where you have to find, um, you know, the count of, you know, unique items, especially in an array or a string, uh, you most likely want to go with a collection that is either like a dictionary in C sharp or you know in Java you have um, you can use a map or even I believe a hash map might work also um, but since I'm working with C sharp I'm going to be using a dictionary all right so let's get started so I'll name the string um, word the input parameter all right so First, what I want to do is define my dictionary. Okay, and let's do char count dictionary. Okay, so um, before I do that, let me just define. So the dictionary will be of type character. So the character will be the key, and the count is an integer. Okay, um, so yeah, the character, so we have the word, so for we're, ba we're basically going through each letter, and each letter is going to be set as a key in the dictionary, and the value would be the count. All right, so let's get started. For each of our characters, char, I should say, oh, I, I can't use that, ch in word, We so just about this in C sharp you can iterate through a string um, with a loop and treat it as an array somewhat, right? Um, in other places you might need to basically convert the word into a character array. All right, so I know I mean there's built-in um, you know built-in methods that allow you to do that. So um, just an example, let me just show you uh, word array equals word dot to car array. All right, so basically this is the same thing and then you would iterate through the word array. All right, so um, uh, yeah, in C sharp I don't need to do that. So I can just iterate through the array like that. All right, so first what we want to check is basically if our dictionary contains the key, okay? And in this case, the key is the ch that we pass, right? Because the ch is basically the character um, that we're iterating over. All right, so if it does contain it, we want to, basically, we want to, um, increase the count of that character. And the way you do that in C Sharp is you can access the um, the value. You can assign the value by using the brackets, right? And basically putting the key in there. All right, and what we want to do is that CH, so we got the value here, plus one. Okay, um, so here, if you have this on the left hand side, um, you know, you can assign it as a value, right? And then on the right hand side, we have this, we're just using this basically getting the value, right? And then we're adding one to the value. And this is only in the case that this dictionary contains the key already. Okay, so if it doesn't, right, we basically just want to add it to the, um, dictionary. So it's fairly straightforward, right? We add and then ch and by default we'll give it a count of one. 
Okay, so when you add the character at once, you know, obviously, since you're adding it, the count will be one since it's in there. All right, and now we can... All right, so this method will either you can return the dictionary, but um, in this case, I'll just put a for each loop uh, to print it out. Var um, val in, where is it? C-H-A-R count dictionary, right? And then we can console dot write line. And here, we just basically all print out the key, right? And that'll be val dot key and then val dot value. Not really good naming, but that's pretty much it. Okay, so let's run this and basically see what we get. Okay, so you can see here, key H, there's only one H, right? Um, e, there's one E, L, you can see there's two L's, okay? and the key O is only one in there. So you can see it works pretty well. Um, you know, let's add another L, two L's uh, and just see what it gives then. So you can see over here, now L, there's four L's and the rest are the same. So you can see it works pretty well. Um, you know, it's you know mainly revolving around the dictionary collection and you just need to basically add it loop through the um, word and just check properly update the values in the dictionary. So it is fairly simple. Um, I would say it's more on the easier side of um, string algorithms. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. If you guys have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. Um, if you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys next time.